Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Cafe Lena. Thank you for joining us today. We are celebrating the release of a book today with a concert, which I think is uh, perfectly fitting for Cafe Lena. It's going to be a lovely afternoon with Dan Hubbs and Banjo Variant. Uh, we're celebrating the, book, the release of Dan's book, uh, Downtown Super Tells All, which he will tell you all about. Um, before we get started, I want to uh, just tell you that we are presenting this show in collaboration with the Folklife Center at Crandall Library, um, and there's support for this show from the Alfred Z. Solomon Charitable Trust, uh, and they also supported... Dan's book. So we're very grateful for, um, for their efforts in making all of this possible, what you see today uh, on stage, as well as what you will find in that book. Um, we are indebted to uh, that foundation, as well as the Folklife Center, for all of their support. So um, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon with this wonderful band. Um, so let's get them up here. Dan Hubs and Banjo Variant. <laughs> Thank you for that. <coughs> I'll plug Reese's show tomorrow at 3 o'clock as well. Reese and the Carriage Band will be here. And our own J.P. Hobbs will be playing again tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So. so you should all come. <laughs> <coughs> I've got uh, my banjo from my friend Mike Phelps. He lent it to me for this show, which is a really great old-time style banjo. Although there's one thing that I think is probably not traditional. That's the bunny, the bunny rabbit in the back. <laughs> so we'll start with a, a song that was inspired by McKinley's assassination in 1901, the White House Blues. Right? That's right, sure is. <laughs> Station, 
Looking at the time, the train leaves the station between eight and nine. It's making time, lost time. And now that old train is coming down the track. When it pulls out the station, you know it don't come back. When it's gone, it's long gone. When it's gone, it's really gone. Happy to be here with my friend Frank Orsini that many years ago I was offered uh, to play at the Queensbury School for Adirondack Day. And I was here working at the Saratoga Library, I walked over to Saratoga Guitar and asked the guy there if he knew of a fiddle player that might be interested in doing that with me. And uh, he said, well, call Frank Orsini. So I uh, called and we did that for many years, probably 10 or 12 years. We played every once a year at the Queensbury School. And, so I had the great pleasure of playing for all my kids. JP was in third grade, and he, <laughs> we played for him many years ago. So we're still at it. Um, and the interesting thing with that was, people at the time were saying, have you seen the Gibson Brothers? They're awesome. You know, I came here to the cafe to see the Gibson Brothers, and I said, oh, well, that's the guy that works at uh, Saratoga Guitar. And so Lee Gibson did work there at the time. And he's responsible for, for us getting together. <laughs> Well, I retired during the pandemic, and so here's a song that inspired by that. It's called, I Ain't Going to Work No More. Stopped to smell the lilacs, stayed right where I was. Planets and stars were turning above. I'm gonna stop trying to tell you that I'm right. I'll agree that you are If you let me spend the night I ain't gonna work no more I ain't gonna work I ain't gonna work no more I ain't gonna work So don't tell me that's what it's all for I ain't gonna work I climbed up Black Mountain In the spring after the rain For no reason Just to see it again High up on the mountain, lonely ravens fly. One follows the other, just like you and I. I ain't gonna work no more. I ain't gonna work. I ain't gonna work no more. I ain't gonna work. Now don't tell me that's what it's all for. I ain't gonna work. But I've got a business deal for you down here on the floor. My shack is on Black Mountain, man, it suits me fine. All I need's your lovely, strange love, Valentine. I ain't gonna work no more. I ain't gonna work. I ain't gonna work no more. I ain't gonna work. Now don't tell me that's what it's all for. I ain't gonna work. They tell you, do what you love and you'll never feel like you're working, right? So for me, that would be bicycle riding, reading, um, 
playing the banjo. These things have not garnered me great wealth, I have to say. We had a guy donate money at the library and um, talking to him about how he had made his money and all that, and what he did was uh, sell hot dogs, really. So I hadn't, that hadn't crossed my mind, really, as I was coming up. Like, if I could sell hot dogs, I'd really rake it in, but no. Well, here's an old minstrel era song, but the banjo part was uh, done by Franklin George, West Virginia banjo player. It's called The Boatman. Through the generous support of the Alfred Z. Solomon Trust, uh, we were able to do these uh, series of shows and also to have a book published. And the book uh, has a lot to do with working different jobs. I, when I got out of college, I was um, going to take some graduate courses in the city and got a job as a super in downtown uh, New York and took some graduate classes at NYU and had three years of really learning you know, about living in the city. and. Um, working as a superintendent for a downtown um, apartment building, which was quite a, an experience. And a lot of it's in the book that I'm hawking today. And the other part is going, uh, some other things, but also uh, working in Alaska on a fish processing boat. So, um, and what they're really, what they're really the point of the book is trying to you know, be an artist of some type and rather than having a traditional career path, um, Luckily, I landed in library world and was able to work in libraries uh, after my precarious beginning as a super and a fish pan slammer in Alaska. Schoonover, right?
can drive your own If you get there before I do Leave my girl alone Along the river Come along do Along Scroon River Till the day is through away from home, a raven called all day, someone's upstairs with your true love, so you best be getting away, along the river, come along do, along Scroon River, till the day is through. never had the Saratoga blues, but that's what we're going to sing for you right now. One Tuesday morning, looked like rain, as around the bend came a passenger train, and on the side sat old Bill Jones, the good old hobo trying to get home, trying to get home. Just trying to get home There was a good old hobo trying to get home He'd been Saratoga, springs on a tram With the road getting muddy, the fields getting damp Trying to catch a freight train and leave town They don't like hobos hanging around In Saratoga Springs To be hanging around Yeah, they don't like hobos hanging around I left Saratoga on a mournful day The brakeman said, you've got to pay I had no money upon my shoes I was trying to go west I had the Saratoga blues Saratoga blues Saratoga Springs blues I was trying to go west With the Saratoga blues the trains, let the hobos ride, when they ride, when they ride the ride, they put their trust in the hands of God, in the hands of God, in the hands of God, they put all trust in the hands of God, and old Bill Jones said before he died, there's two more trains I would like to ride. The foreman told him, well, what could it be? Well, it's the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe, Santa Fe, the Santa Fe. It's the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe.
Do people, you, we, well, put it this way. Years ago, we, we used to go down to South Street in Glens Falls once in a while. And South Street in Glens Falls is, has the moniker of the Street of Dreams. Nobody knows why that is, I'm pretty sure. Because I asked about it in the history room, and they were, they were baffled by that. Have any ideas? I, I think it's... Uh, um, facetious? It, it's, it's facetious. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's, it's definitely not... not it's a, not the street it's of It's not dreams. an elevated, elevating kind of a place to... Right. To, right. At least in the past. It, it's yeah. better now. They, it's, it's better now. Right. It used to be. It's losing its charm. <laughs> <laughs> you could put it that way. Well, Sandy's Clam Bar was sort of the rough and ready hangout place. It was. But I, I saw a great band there once, I have to say. There used to be a blues um, get-together in, in Glens Falls, and this guy, Big Jack Johnson, played at Sandy's, and he was amazing, a Mississippi guitar guy. That was. Huh? Yeah, so anyway, that inspired this song here. We're going to South Street, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> See your dreams. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna try to sound like Old South Street here. <laughs> to find my girl going to South Street going in around I brought a razor and a gatling gun John South Street after the show. On March the 18th day, we hoisted colors to the top of the mast. And for Greenland sailed away, brave boys. 
and for Greenland sailed away. The lookout in the cross tree stood with the spyglass in his hand. There's a whale, a whale, a whale fish, he cried, that blows on every span, brave boys. It blows on every span. The captain stood on the quarter deck. Ice was in his eyes. Overhaul, overhaul, let the jib sheets fall. And put your boats to sea, brave boys. Put your boats to sea. The harpoon struck, the line played out with a single flourish of his tail. He capsized the boat and we lost five men. No, we did not catch the whale, brave boys. We did not catch the whale. Well, the losing of those five men grieved the captain sore. But the losing of the fine whale fish that grieved him ten times more, brave boys. It grieved him ten times more. Well, Greenland is a barren land, a land that bears no green, where there's ice and snow and the whale fish blow. And daylight is seldom seen, brave boys. Daylight is seldom seen.
<laughs> Fisher's Horn Pie featuring Frank Percy. Thank you. So you, you've had your fiddles for November, your fiddle music for November. <laughs> nope, there's more to come. <laughs> your minimum requirement, anyway. So um, this came about, this whole, this whole um, program, because I'd gone to see Mary Jablonski read at the Art Center, and she's such a good reader, and we were talking afterwards, I was sort of saying it's hard to get an audience for um, reading. It's hard to get an audience for banjo playing, too. <laughs> but so she had the idea, so well, why don't you combine the writing and the music together and see what happens? So that's, that's uh, sort of what happened. And um, I really became interested in this kind of music by tra when I traveled to Ireland when I was much younger, and just was with my family over there. My grandmother was from Ireland and her brothers and all the neighborhood people out in the country where they lived got together in the evenings and sang songs and told stories and things. And that's where I really, you know, had the idea to uh, try to work in this folk music vein. And because Cafe Lena really supports this, that uh, kept me going over the years. But really it was seeing those musicians that were sort of community musicians that weren't celebrities and weren't record company people and all that that um, got me really interested in playing this type of traditional music. <clears throat> Was in the summer, a brown old day My honey told me she was going away She said, I'm going, but don't worry I'll be back some summer day I took my daughter to see the diving mule They make him jump into a little pool yeah, he's going, sorry, don't worry I'm pretty sure he'll be okay Still, well, I'm going, Sally, don't worry, I'll be back some summer day. Summer's over, days have gone by, we're not gonna worry, we're gonna take it in stride. Yes, I'm going, Sally, don't worry, I'll be back some summer day. See the diving mule They make him jump Into a little pool Yes, he's going Sally, don't worry I'm pretty sure he'll be okay And come back again Some summer day I'll see you again Some summer day
Well, there used to be that diving horse at the magic forest up by near where I live. That was, people didn't like that a lot, the diving horse. <laughs> I never saw the diving horse, but I did ride my bike by there many times. Well, here's a nice sing-along for you all. It could be a nice thing along if you know it. Sing it if you know it. There's a certain vicarious pleasure you can get out of this one. Well, the line is, while we were boozing, that's the, that's the singing part. <clears throat> the girl that I love got married, they say. Well, she married some rich guy out in L.A. His old man's a billionaire up in Monterey. And that's that anyway. They say the world is changing. I guess that's true. But I loved you then. And darling, I still do. Well, springtime came in, and springtime went out. While we were boozing, and the apple tree blossoms got blown all about. While we were boozing, and the geese got together, they headed down south. While we were boozing And the snowstorm half buried the house While we were boozing Well, yeah, the world is changing I see it too But I loved you once, sweetheart, I still do Down on Wall Street, we're hauling in cash while we were boozing. And the preacher was preaching, the first shall be last while we were boozing. I looked out on the street, I thought I saw you go by. I ordered a round with a tear in my eye Oh well, yeah, the world is changing Of course it's true But I loved you then, darling, I still do Springtime came in Springtime went out while we were boozing, and the apple tree blossoms got blown all about while we were boozing. So sad. the solo Frank part of the performance. You want to stick with that schedule or is something else you'd like to like to do now? Um, <laughs> yeah, why don't you, why don't you okay. do that? Yeah, okay, yes, yeah. I'll get the fiddle out for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, some of the, my favorite tunes come from Turlock O'Carolan, who was an Irish harper, of all things. <laughs> uh, he, he was from the Baroque era. Oh, he wasn't a classical musician. He was a folk musician. But he was from that era, and he, he kind of knew what was going on, and he tried to incorporate some of that Baroque melodicism or whatever you could, how you could describe it in his, in his uh, traditional tunes. And uh, this was, uh, I think he was born 1670, and he lived to uh, 1738. So he didn't make it to 70. But for that time, he, I think at that period, he was doing Pretty well. Good, yeah. <laughs> he lived Pretty as good. long as he did. Yeah. And especially because he, uh, when you add to the fact that he, he lived through a, a smallpox epidemic, one of, one of the many ones that, that went through Ireland. And uh, he, did, he was blinded by that, though, so, uh, uh, which is um, really, really disad disadvantage. And, uh, but fortunately, someone encouraged him to become a musician. And, uh, which is something you could do as a, as a blind person. Um, so he, he became a harper and, and a, an itinerant harper. This, this person, he had a, a supporter, a patron, I guess you could say, who gave him a, a horse and a, and a, a helper. And uh, so he made the rounds, the big houses or the castles and, and, uh, and played for the people. And the thing, the, since he was, he kind of came to it late. I mean, I, this is, was educational for me to realize that like if you're 18 years old back then, that was too late to start as a harper. It's like now we consider a, a, like a concert violinist. That's way too, you know, forget it. It's way too old to start. And that's how they looked at it. But um, so he, by their standards, he wasn't a great musician, but he, what he had was a gift for composition. He, uh, he came up with some really great tunes. And, um, w and you know, since he was playing for the gentry, he would, he would name his tunes for the whoever's house he was staying in or Castle he was staying at that time. So many of his tunes, if not most of them, I think I could say most of them are, are named for people, patrons. Um, and I'm going to play some of his tunes. Yeah. He has a special place in Irish music. I mean, if you get an Irish tune collection, there's the jigs, the reels, the hornpipes, the O'Carolan tunes, really. Um, and I got a few of them here that I think give a, that give you an idea of his, his uh, versatility and in his tune smithing. Uh, I'll start with one called Blind Mary, one he wrote for uh, someone that was really close to him. So it's an, uh, it's an emotional sounding tune. And then um, one he wrote for a, a Lord of the Manor, Lord Inchiquin, which I happen to know was County Clare. Um, and then I'll end up with a, an energetic tune he wrote for a, a young, I think a young son of a patron or something. Charles O'Connor, a young young man. Well, anyway.
Thank you. So nice. I want to just uh, put a plug to, um, I talked about Mary Jablonski, who edited this book and designed the cover, but the, the picture on the front is by a local artist, uh, Romero Jewel, which is, she's really an awesome artist. You can look online to see her stuff and around town and things too. And uh, she did this picture of the building that I worked in, so I want to give her some props. And we're going to take a quick break if anybody wants, needs to do whatever, and then we'll come back and we'll hear JP play some solo, and we'll have another short set. And books for sale. Books are for sale in the back here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thanks.
Hello again, folks. We're about to get the second set started. Hello. I hope you all are enjoying your afternoon. Um, if you have not yet checked out the merchandise table in the back, please do that after the show. Uh, Dan has his books out there, which you can take home with you. Uh, for anybody viewing online, you can also find his book online. It's called Downtown Super Tells All. Dan Hubs is the author's name and uh, also the band leader's name today. So uh, please welcome back for the second set, Dan Hubs and Banjo Variant. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. JP is going to play for you right now. Um, this is a piano piece called Sunlight Through Leaves, uh, which I suppose was inspired by uh, walking in the woods and kind of just looking at that, that wonderful side of the golden sun filtering through the green leaves. Uh, and that's just always so nice.
might be a shock to the system to follow that with an old banjo tune, but. <laughs> the uh, piano lessons <laughs> <laughs> paid off man yeah Hubsy boys were raised in the ashes they never learned to court the maids they'd sit there kind of staring cause pretty girls made them afraid so get up girls and don't be afraid Get up and dance, get up and don't be afraid, get up and dance. Hubsy boys left trolley in them awful famine days. When they got to New York City, they knelt in the street and prayed. Get up girls and don't be afraid, get up and dance, get up and don't be afraid, get up and dance. the jug around wise pronouncements in a bar room boys were treading holy ground get up girls and don't be afraid get up and dance get up and don't be afraid get up and dance hubsy boys picked some flowers worked hard but still were poor too ashamed to show affection left the flowers in your door get up girls don't be afraid get up and dance get up and don't be afraid get up and dance Tunes here, the cold frosty morning in the Mississippi Sawyer. Don't go away, homie. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
one of the things that comes out in this song is when I was in Alaska, we hiked back to the Russian River. And it was pretty cool because we passed a, a guy who was camping, a German tourist who was just had a tent sun up and he had just caught some salmon. So he cooked it over the fire for us and then we went on down to these sort of falls on the Russian River and sitting there watching the salmon sort of jumping up the falls. It was quite beautiful. So that, among other things, is in the song about sort of traveling and, you know, your expectations of traveling when you're traveling alone. It's a very interesting experience. I hitchhiked to London at 19 years old. Hitchhiked to London, 19 years old. And there was nobody there in that city of gold I wandered around Merida high on mushrooms Yeah, I wandered around Merida high on mushrooms But there was nobody there at the Mayan ruins Beneath an eagle in flight There was nobody there In a land without night And I stumbled round Dublin Drunk as a lord yeah. Stumbled round Dublin Drunk as a lord And there was nobody there in a the land Where my forefathers toiled Tara Laura Laura Lay, Tara Laura Laura Lay, Tara Laura Laura Lay, no. Station of the Metro and pale as a ghost. A station of the Metro, pale as a ghost. Nobody even for the one I love the most And by the Russian river I watch the salmon swimming By the Russian river I watch the salmon swim Swim upstream to see what was there for them Sidewalk, looking for my gal. I seen her on the corner, chatting up my pal. So I went into a bar room. I was drinking gin. The next thing I was reeling, I was rocking drunk again. Well, hey. them gambling barroom blues Well I kept drinking hard liquor Way into the night My pal came into the barroom Man we had an awful fight 
I reached down for my razor while he was kicking me around. Then I pulled out my pistol. I smoked him down. Well, hey, 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 sweetheart. Hey, what are we gonna do? She told me we ain't gonna do nothing. It's a gambling bar. census records, my uh, grandparents were listed as coming from the Windward Isles, which uh, is really uh, British West Indies, Barbados, and other islands in that area. So this is another nautical tune. The Windward Isles, about an Irish poet. I left Dublin and factory work to sail before the mast. All those people troubling me, I told him, kiss my hands. I left school at an early age to learn the stars and wind. I sailed with poets, drunkards and thieves, not one gentleman gin. So damn your eyes, Captain Bly, we're off to the sunny windward island. I weathered the gale, I drank the siren's tears At five points I lost all I had After drinking ales and beers Those Tahitian girls are a friendly lot Like the old sailors said Unlike my darling Dublin girls They're happy to take you to bed So damn your eyes, Captain Bly we're off to the sunny windward isles. We lost good men at Waito to Key at Sorabaya. We lost more. The rum ran out in the Timor Sea. The men all cursed and roared. And when the captain got out the lash, we gave him the old heave ho. We saluted his highness, one and all. We watched as he sank below. So damn your eyes, Captain Bly. We're off to the sunny windward eyes. The 
girl I love lives in Brandon Town by the Irish shore. I hope that I live long enough to be with her once more. And when my shipmates have all passed on to Fiddler's Green above, I'll stand on the dock with a toast of rum. I'll hail the life I've loved. So damn your eyes, Captain Bly. We're off to the sunny windward isles. Thank you. Old Saratoga Waltz. Belly up, boys, with your cash in the air. Win, place, or show. The devil may care if we win. It'll be a big night on the town. If we lose, we'll just throw the ticket stubs down. It's a dance that was done in the days we've lost. When your love still loved you with kisses so soft A dance that was done in the days we've lost The old Saratoga Wars Well, it's one way to check and see if you're still alive Put down your money, man, let it all ride It buys a few minutes to plan out the fun you'll have if the horse hits at twenty to one. Toralu, as the light declines, my darling love from the rare old times, the dance we did in the days we've lost, the old Saratoga Walt. To go out to the track The things that you've lost Maybe you can win them back Well, life's just a gamble Who knows what to choose And the more that you win The more you get to lose Toralu as the light declines My darling love From the rare old times The dance we did in the days that are lost, the old Saratoga Waltz. We did the Saratoga Springs Waltz. A lot of these original songs, the lyrics are in the book if you wanted to check it out. Just a couple more tunes and we'll wrap it up. What do we got? Do we have oh yeah. East Tennessee Blues. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yes, kind of an old, an old ragtime tune, and uh, I like finding out where that tune "ragtime" came from. It it came from "ragged time," which uh, referred to syncopation, which was uh, kind of a new thing for 
I guess at that time, <laughs> yeah. when rag, Ragtime came out. And uh, I'd like to think it's co this coming full circle where this Ragtime started on, it was a keyboard thing. And of course it caught on and string band, jug band started playing it, string bands and all these string players started playing it. And now it found its way back to the keyboard via JP. <laughs> <laughs> Although, when you were taking those piano lessons, you probably had some ragtime to play, didn't you? Didn't you have yeah. some Scott Joplin? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I Maple Leaf Rag was, was oh, yes. one of the first. <laughs> I was writing all the notes in above all the notes because I didn't know what they were yet. Um, but I wanted to play it, so I was just like figuring yes. it out. <laughs> Start, you gonna start or? No, you just, just okay. go right at it. the table and it's the same old thing no food on the table and nothing in the pan well you better not complain boy you'll get in trouble with the man let the midnight special shine a light on me let the midnight special shine a light on me let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine an ever-loving light on me Well, yonder come Miss Rosie Yeah, well, how do you know? She's wearing her apron And a brand new clothes Umbrella on her shoulder a piece of paper in her hand Oh, you're gonna see the governor Who try to free her man let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let 
the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine a ever-loving light on me J.P. So we'll do the two these, keep it these. Here's a song by the lead singer of The Clash. It's called Silver and Gold. Never before performed by a banjo band, <laughs> pretty sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna go dancing every night. I'm gonna see all the city lights. I'm gonna do everything all silver and gold Gotta hurry up for I get too old So I'm gonna go traveling around the world I'm gonna meet lots of pretty girls Do everything all silver and gold Gotta hurry up for I get too old I've done a lot of things I know is wrong I hope I'm forgiven when I'm gone It's gonna take a lot of prayers to save my soul I gotta hurry up before I get too old So I'm gonna go dancing every night I'm gonna see all the city lights And do everything all silver and gold I gotta hurry up for I get too old. Way downtown, fooling around, 
They took me to the jail Oh me and oh my Norma throw my bell It was late last night when Willie came home We heard her rapping on the door Slipping and sliding with her new shoes on Mama said Willie don't rap no more Lay downtown fooling around They took me to the jail One arm around a whiskey barrel, one arm around my dear. Way downtown, fooling around, they took me to the jail. Oh, me, oh, my, no one to pick up my. Shirt is all I own, a few dollars is all I crave. I had nothing when I came into this world, I'll take nothing to my grave. Way downtown, fooling around, they took me to the jail. Oh, me, oh, my, no one to go. So we'll finish with the, with the Coleman's March with Frank on the guitar.
Thank you, everybody. J.P. Hobbs on the keyboard. Mr. Frank Garcini. Thank you to the cafe for having us, to all the volunteers. Big hand for the volunteers. And, and hand for Dan Hobbs. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> and for the sound people and movie people. And a big thanks to Todd DeGarmo and Crandall Public Library, the Folk Life Center there, which has been a big supporter of uh, this program. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming.